All right, I'm gonna have my son Thomas install the rear hitch on this Honda Recon. So for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a cost thing, but Honda does not, does not include the hitch on the Recon. So I talked to the dealer and they had some aftermarket options that could give you more of like a sleeve hitch like on a car. I wasn't really interested in that. What I was looking for was the same type of hitch that we have on our uh, Honda Rancher. So he said they do have that option available. So that is what that looks like. And then there's two bolts. I don't have the model number for this, but if you look it up, I think they're on Amazon for like $34, $35. But I don't believe it comes with the bolts. I just ordered it through the dealer because um, we got a discount because we bought a new machine. So here are the part numbers. Those are gonna be for, you get two locking nuts and then this bolt here, which came out of the package. So you have two bolts, two nuts, pretty simple uh, install here. So that's why I'm gonna have my son do it. I'll let him uh, get some experience with that because there's no reason that I need to be doing this. So uh, let's start the install. All right, so here we go with the install. So it's pretty basic. Everything pretty much lines up like it should. Also, you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket or 14 mil millimeter wrench. You need to hold the nuts because the nuts are lock lock nuts. So, and we're doing it so that the bolts come down from the top. And he's going to put the nuts on from the bottom. So the tricky one is this one in here, because if you end up dropping the nut, it's going to go in this cover and then you might be able to get it with a magnetic tool or you might have to pull this plastic, uh, oops, this plastic cover off if you end up dropping it. Well, don't drop the nut in there. You gotta get it flat. This is probably painful for the people watching this. Um, turn, turn the bolt the other way. There you go. Now straighten out the nut. Yeah, I think you got it started. Yeah, it looks like it's going in. Keep going until it's hand tight. Yep, that's good. So we're in the process of tightening here. I'm not 100% sure what the torque value is. This side here looks like it has a stop so you can't over tighten it. This side over here looks like you can over tighten it. There's no stop. So I wouldn't go crazy nuts with it. They are lock nuts so they should hold. That's good Thomas, don't go any tighter than that. I'll check them. So let's do this other side here. I'm supposed to get this in. Oh, we'll have to use a rat ratchet wrench, hold on. All right, so like I said, there's not too much to this process. It's pretty basic. The uh, the oil light, oil sensor, that would be a little bit more extensive. So I think the dealer charged me 50 for the hitch and the bolts for this part. And for the complete kit, which they said they couldn't get, the sensor and all would have been like 250. And for them to install the sensor and this hitch, they wanted another 200. So it would have been all 450. So I had no problem just paying the 50 for the hitch and getting the right bolts and not having to source anything. Because like I said, I think Amazon had the hitch for like 35, but didn't have the bolts. And I'm like, I don't want to have to get bolts. I'm like, I don't want to spend any more time on this when I have to. So I'm like, just let the dealer get it. They can get the correct stuff from Honda and then that way it's done. All right, so there it is completed. Like I said, not much to it. Pretty simple, uh, simple go there. It says uh, toe weight limit is 500 pounds, tongue weight 30 pounds. I'm not sure if that's uh, specific to this unit. Uh, most, uh, most of these hitches look, look the same between this, the Rancher, and the Foreman. I thought they were all the same. Um, one thing to note, I did take out this, uh, this cap here. Oops, 
this cap right here, that I'm not guessing that's where that sensor goes because it doesn't look like it sits in oil. So I'm not sure where that would go. Must be either on the bottom of the engine or must be on the front side. I wouldn't think on the back because you got the the recoil back here. So, um, so I said in a different video, this is a 2021 we bought brand new and a dealer said that they were offered by the company that they had a leftover 21, so they took it. So now, upon closer inspection here, there's a lot of corrosion on stuff. So I'm willing to bet, even on the, the fins here, I'm kind of thinking that this thing was sitting on a cargo ship somewhere and they couldn't get it here because the dealer dealership had no recons for at least a year. I check with them and they tell me, oh, we could order one, it's gonna be a year or something ridiculous. And uh, I'm like, well, that's strange. Why would they get a 2021? So there's a couple things I've seen now, like the on that mount for the motor, some stuff around the, uh, the carburetor. So I don't know if they went through the carb because there's like some spots up in here on some clamps and stuff where you can see there was some some rust that formed so obviously it was sitting somewhere where it was kind of humid or wet it wasn't sitting in a dry location so that would be my guess that this thing kind of sat for a while on a boat and that's why they'd have stock that's you know two years old so otherwise it looks pretty good so Yep, that will be the install then for your hitch on your Honda Recon, and that'll be it for now.